Hello folks, welcome to, my, welcome to my video. Today, I've got a little project I'm working on and uh, I needed a cheap, inexpensive motor, so I went down to the salvage yard and I took this unit out with the capacitor and before I go any further, I've discharged this capacitor with a screwdriver. And I actually took, you take a diode and do the same thing, short it across these terminals to kill it so it has no power. Uh, I should also mention that safety is very important when you're dealing with electricity. I'm no electrician by uh, by trade. It's just I'm trying to find a way to find me a little old cheap, expensive motor here that I can use in a project that I'm working on. Uh, what I may show you today may not be 100% accurate, but uh, there's a comment section below. You're welcome to correct me on anything that I'm uh, misrepresent. Uh, again, like I stated, I'm no electrician. Just trying to get through this project uh, and learn it on my own. I've went out there to YouTube and I've looked at a, a bunch of videos and I really didn't see anything with a basic uh, 115 volt motor or 110 volt motor. It's 115 here according to the tag. 90 watts, 1.3 amps. And the rotation, if I'm looking at it, is, is clockwise. So I just kind of started playing with it myself and this is what I came up with. Uh, again, this motor's for a project that I'm working on, so it's not really uh, critical blows up I just gonna get another one for ten dollars again that was the motor this is the capacitor you've got fan on this side here again it's already discharged you got common over here on this blue wire and you got herm over here on this where the red is uh, I've taken all these other wires here and just taped them off to the side they're not hot there's no power to them right now uh, and I put some electrical connectors on there to tie these other ones together but uh, I only use the red wire, the blue wire, the black wire. The um, actual, let me see if I can get this camera over here a little bit. The black wire is feeding in from this plug right here, this little computer plug. It's coming in on the extension cable end of it. The black wire is going to the blue, which this blue is going actually into the common side of the capacitor and this is a dual stage or dual feed capacitor uh, uh, the singles and there's duals it is a start capacitor it's not a run capacitor but can use, be used as a run capacitor if needed but it is a start capacitor the rating on this thing is 70-15 at 5% phase 2 50-60 hertz CBB 65 so I'm sure this is probably the right correct capacitor for this motor that came out of the same AC unit but back to what I start, started at the black I got off, off the extension cord run into the blue on the common on the capacitor then I took the white wire I tied it into the red wire which goes directly to the motor I did not hook up the ground I've just got the ground sitting over to the side safety again uh, we should be hooking it up but uh, I don't uh, risk a chance of electrical shock because I'm not going to uh, be grabbing this stuff when it's running again the capacitor has a herm a fan and a common the common comes out of the capacitor goes back into the black wire going into the motor itself this wire in here goes to the motor there to here then fan to the blue wire. It's a pretty simple setup after I played around it, played around with it long enough to figure it out. Um, I wish I could have found a YouTube video a lot earlier and not spent all this time. However, uh, I just wanted to again test this motor and it seems to work pretty good. Here's your plug. Let me get your extension cord over here. There's the extension cord that's powered up. We'll plug it in. motor's a little noisy, however it does run, the project I'm using it for will probably be fine. I also believe that these motors are bi-directional. I'm sure that this one is not because it's got a rotation arrow here. It's a welling motor, manufacturing comp motor. Motor for air conditioning, air conditioner, air over is what it states. It's a welling 
YSK90-4AF in parentheses B 60 Hertz folks I hope this uh, helped a few, a lot, few of y'all out there uh, like I said uh, I'm no rocket scientist and I'm damn sure no electrician but I was able to figure this out on my own you know, with a little help from a few YouTube videos on the, how to uh, check the capacitor again I always keep in mind that once this capacitor is running for a while it may hold a charge you never want to touch the top of this thing or any of the wires with it fully charged or even partially charged it'll give you a good joke so I always take you a screwdriver let me grab one and I'll show you what I normally do give me a moment I'll take a screwdriver just like this with an insulated handle and all you really have to do is after you disconnect the power, run it across there and just hit the terminals all the way around both ways and it'll be fine it's not gonna see how you go it's fine by putting this across there all the terminals one way or another this way or this way this way or this way you're discharging the capacitor so it won't have any electricity in it again I hope this uh, video was a uh, was out there to help somebody I needed all the help I could get if you enjoyed it hit the like and subscribe button uh, I'll be showing a video in the next couple of days how to test these capacitors uh, I didn't know how to do that either uh, but uh, stay tuned for the next video again taking care of these capacitors and how to uh, check them see if they're good or bad thanks for watching